G'day, I'm Duncan from the Google Play Games team. Play Games is Google's game network for Android, iOS, and the web, with user experiences and services designed to enhance gameplay. I'm here to tell you about what's new and why it's great for you. Three big things are coming out. Game profiles, quests, and saved games. These features could significantly boost engagement and retention for your game. So listen closely to learn how to level up your game. Speaking of leveling up, that reminds me, one of our huge updates to Play Games is our game profile, which now enables players to level up across the entire Play Games ecosystem. They can check out what activities they've done to get there and compare themselves against others. This may drive significant levels of engagement for any game that players love. So, leveling happens based on points earned from gaining achievements in Play Games like yours. Each game you publish has a thousand points to allocate to achievements. Why? because players love to level up. Compelling achievements give players a reason to engage with your title for longer periods of time. You see, we've seen significant user retention improvement in games where high quality achievements are available, and the leveling system has the same potential. While players are checking out their level in the Play Games app, they can now also compare themselves to others. Just tap on a face and check out the comparison in the Play Games app. Are you beating your friends? Have you checked? You should probably go check. They may have just beaten you. On top of their level, players are now assigned a title based on the game category they've earned the most XP or experience points in. This means with just a glance, players can tell that a level 20 speed racer is a highly engaged racing game expert, compared to another player who may be a level 1 rookie. With good achievement point allocations, you'll set your players on the path to lots of fun and retention. And while on the path of retention, players can engage with another one of our new features, quests. With quests, you can create time-bound tasks and rewards on top of events, giving players a reason to come back for a new challenge. Quests drive both deeper re-engagement and increased retention for players. For example, over the last few weeks, I've been playing the extremely ironically named game Questing Rocks. I'd been on a quest to earn the Axe of Destiny. I fought dragons, elves, and a rainbow a few times, which was weird, but it was totally worth it. Now that I have the Axe of Destiny, I can compete in the tournament coming up next month. Now, normally this kind of feature would require a significant live ops team to manage regular updates without having to push a new build. That is, until now. So how do quests work? Let's take a seafaring game as an example. There are three things that I care about in my game. Treasure found, crew rescued, and miles sailed. So I jump into the developer console and define these three events. Next, I integrate events that report these signals back to Play Games, and I also integrate the generic quest interfaces so players can see my quests as soon as I publish one. Next, I monitor the events. Oh, look! People love finding treasure. Who would have thought? So now I go and create a quest, but, um, hmm. Talk Like a Pirate Day is coming up, so I guess I'll create a quest based around that. It will start on September 19th, which is International Speak Like a Pirate Day, and will require players to find 50 treasures to earn the reward of Blackbeard's secret treasure map. I also add some images, including a secret treasure map, to draw players' attention, and then I hit publish. So players are out there finding treasures and accepting my quests and participating. When a player does find 50 treasures, I add the secret treasure map to their inventory. And what do they think about it? My community is abuzz with tales of Blackbeard's treasure maps and the secrets it reveals. So many players enjoyed the quest that it's time for me to go back and look at my events to determine what quests I should create next. By designing your game to send a broad spectrum of events and defining quest rewards in advance, you can run quests whenever you'd like without upping, updating your game to build a better relationship with your user community. Players will also get to see quests in the Play Games app for all games they've recently played. This is another great way to re-engage players or to drive deeper engagement. Ensure that you make your quests easy to understand, fun, and rewarding. Speaking of fun and rewarding, I'd like to introduce our new Saved Games feature. Saved Games are the new visual cross-platform game safe for play games on Android, iOS, and the web. Saved Games will mean your players never have to play level one again and allow you to re-engage your players by reminding them of the awesome things that they are up to in your game. What is unique about Save Games is the ability to store metadata that can improve discoverability through the Play Games app and increase usability for your players. This metadata includes a custom image, 
a description, and a timestamp that are presented to players within your own games UI and within the Play Games app. The latest save game for a play will appear on your game's detail page in the Play Games app. It will also appear prominently in the home screen of the app, reminding players why they should come back to your game. So let's take a closer look. The custom image is set by you and should capture a screenshot of the player's progress in the game that will both remind the player of where they're at in the game, but also entice them to play more. Going above and beyond may include overlaying other art elements such as your logo, or their latest achievement, or some particle effects onto the game screenshot to make it even more compelling. The description field should be short but informative to remind players where they were in your game and why they should return. Without it, your image may not resonate as well. For example, fighting the Goblin King in the Dark Woods, Grand Master Trainer, or the Deep Caves are all a lot better than level 12. So to learn how to make awesome quests, engaging saved games, setting achievement points, and to access code samples, just visit our docs by clicking one of the links on the screen. Thanks for taking the time to learn about these awesome new features for play games. I hope you have as much fun making great engaging quests and compelling saved games as we had making these features. Cheers.